I personally think AI is, AI is actually going to transform all the facets of HR employee life cycle in my view. Uh, currently, if I look around, I think most of the organizations are leveraging AI tools for recruitment, selection and onboarding. But in my mind, there is a lot of space uh, which will keep on getting explored uh, from employee engagement to uh, performance management, learning, there's a lot of stuff that can be done uh, leveraging AI for personalized learning journeys. I think in my mind, these five key focus areas will definitely see a lot of change uh, in next 12 to 18 months. So uh, I think uh, we have been on a journey where AI has been used for what we call a simple chatbots, where you have a query and somebody responds back to you in an intelligent manner. I think in the next 12 to 18 months are going to be fascinating where the chatbot will evolve into a personalized assistant, which, which not only understands you, understands your intent, but, but at your request can go into various parts of the company, into various systems and subsystems and act on your request. So, so that way, you know, we, we will see significant uplift in experience of employees uh, leveraging technology. I think the fact is the way organizations are changing so fast, every industry is seeing a lot of disruption. It's very, very important to focus on the capability building of employees. Uh, and I think in that lens, it's very, very important that they're personalized learning journeys uh, for all the employees, depending on the life stage, depending on the roles, depending on the career focus. And I think AI tools can play a very critical role to kind of get an understanding of that from various sources of data, inputs, employee survey, and really creating personalized learning journeys and capability building. Uh, and that's gonna be the future. Uh, if the companies continue to kind of do a double guess of thinking that these are the learning investments they need to do for employees, um, it's not gonna serve the purpose in the long term. So it has to be personalized and it has to be creating an impact which can be actually enabled by AI tool in my view. So, see, fundamentally, uh, you know, you're right, we, we have been involved in transforming our own internal HR, for example. We've been on this journey for, for almost last, uh, you know, decade or so. Our first chatbot, if you would, Ask HR was launched, I think, around some seven, eight years back and it's progressively evolved. Of course, uh, it was a bit ahead of the curve, so technology also took time to mature. Where we are now is we have already codified almost 800 intents into our chatbot. It's hardened uh, with various intents of, of, of orchestration, as we call, and it's available for, for deployment at our clients because it's already available in a client zero. What we have learned is that, you know, you need a separate engine to drive transformation. We actually launched a program called Transform to Grow with an IBM, which has essentially created a team of people who come from tech background, from process, from function, and they have the, they have the permission to relook at it from, from base cases, right? So, we, and we have, we deploy a garage methodology to, to identify use cases, and we have progressively built it brick by brick. It's, it's never a big bang impact, it's always built progressively. So those are those are the quick learnings which we which we have which we are available to take to clients. I really don't have one term, but I strongly believe that in future there has to be a right balance uh, between technology enhancements and human centric approach. Uh, what I understand is the organization that finds a fine balance uh, to ensure that AI is not replacing but enhancing human part of HR um, will actually make a larger impact and grow much faster. You know, if you were to look at one word, uh, I, would, I would look at, uh, you know, responsible AI. Uh, you know, AI, in our opinion, has to become, you know, explainable. It should not be a black box where, you know, you, know, you don't know what, why it's throwing up an out outcome. Uh, and it, one can train it in the right manner. There is no profanity, no bias which creeps into it. So those are the areas which I'm looking forward to with a lot of interest. 
As far as technology is concerned, I think it's proven. It will keep evolving, and that's a ride. That's a that's a way which we need to ride together.